to like the second episode of the podcast, I believe. I know it took me this long to make another episode. A lot has happened. Okay, check out my YouTube channel. I made a video saying what has happened the past few days, and in general, that's not an excuse because you know I had a lot of time to uh make a podcast, but like I didn't have a co-host. I really wanted a co-host for this, and he kind of it. Well, not he. He didn't do anything. We had a little argument, sadly, and he's long gone. Admin administrator. He's uh, sadly, you know, long gone. We had our differences, and that kind of spiraled out of control. And I said some things, he said some things, and it kind of just kaput us being friends for like, what, three years? We ended a really strong relationship that I wish it didn't end, but maybe it was good for me. I have no idea. Alright, just fixing my seat. I have really no idea. So, let's not, you know, focus on that. Let's focus on something else. Let's focus on philosophy. Yes. I know. It's weird. Sarge, why, why are you talking about philosophy? Well, as you probably know, I am a philosopher. I made some statements, and I have a pretty good understanding of what philosophy is on. I'm not saying, I'm not making my own philosophy or anything. But I do have philosophies, philosophies, philosophy phases that I believe in and that I, uh, I, um, almost not really preach, but, you know, go by daily. Um, what, first one is nihilism. I like nihilism. Nihilism is pretty chill. Um, kind of helped me on my depression, which is kind of weird. You shouldn't, it is kind of weird because nihilism is about the belief in nothing like we were born to die and very like a de very depressing matter but like it helped me with my depression was weird right um and that actually shows in one of my videos there was a video of reacting to some people so you, did it get taken down it must have gotten taken down it was a video Oh, I got my hunters of special two months ago. That's actually pretty swag. Um, my armor, Roblox has a problem. Switching up channel. Um, the mimic. I have no clue to be honest. Did it got taken down? It must have got taken down. Switch up content on my channel. Um, lacrosse, GTA server of the world. Gotta talk. That's bad. Not to prove you wrong. Um, I have no idea where it's at. Oh my gosh. And I haven't uploaded that many videos. What the crap? Oh yeah, I have uploaded a lot more videos than that. But I can't find it. I can't find the video. Um, a lot of cringe videos on here. You guys should check this out. I'm on my channel right now looking for the video. But it was a video me uh reacting to these uh was it, activists these weird activists being activists and i was really damn nihilistic there and it was kind of embarrassing how nihilistic i was and uh, <laughs> so yeah um yeah i'm very nihilistic um i'm mixed with buddhism now this is so good i have a mix of nihilist and buddha and Stoic, I believe. Stoicism. So I'm not completely nihilistic. Well, nihilism does help when it comes to uh, being mad at stuff. I was like, why am I mad? <laughs> I don't get it. Why am I mad? I shouldn't be mad at this. I just let it go, man. There's no need to get mad at this. So yeah, um, yeah. I mean, like, philosophy is pretty chill. I have a few quotes of my own, or statement, more like. Um, I really like them and stuff. Um, actually, where's my phone? I can't find my phone. Oh, we we have a problem here. All my quotes are on my phone. <laughs> and I can't find my phone. Alright, it's fine, it's fine. Um, but yeah, my quotes aren't like super nihilistic. It's kind of more uplifting. Mm. I have one that says like emotions are like waves you are the surfer if you hanker um it, it goes on a little bit more but like the main thing is like if you hanker 
on it on an emotion you'll wipe out meaning like if you get wrapped up in a singular emotion like depression or like being happy all the time it's gonna gonna hurt you in the end because you're gonna be you want that emotion more and more and more you're gonna be dependent on it because if you're not happy then why you're sad you don't want to be sad if you're sad then why you're happy but in deep down inside you're still sad it's just very bad so you should surf on those emotions to tackle them head on and don't get wrapped up into them make sure they pass by smoothly you know a lot of teenagers nowadays can't do that which is i guess it's not just everyone i don't know oh, I guess they can't i'm not them so i'm not gonna um diss them too much about that but you know you know <laughs> you're just gonna wipe those waves of emotions try your best um so yeah uh I, what other what else should i talk about because we'll see i just be talking about you know philosophy i said philosophy i was talking about i was supposed to talk about ego talk about uh what's the difference between um um narcissistic ego and ego itself like is ego a bad thing so screw philosophy let's talk about ego which I think my philosophy has ego in it. But anyways, um, ego. What, what's what's good? What people think ego is good. People think ego is bad. Um, I'll give you my opinion on an ego. Once I get done eating this. Oh. <clears throat> that was pretty good. Um. So yeah. Um, ego. Is ego good? Is ego bad? Did we shun away from ego? Well, this is my thing on ego. Ego is good and bad. Ego helps you um, have confidence. You have to be sure of things. It helps you to um. Oops, oops, sorry, sorry. It helps you to uh be conf uh you know confident and uh almost uplifting. But let's stop talking about ego. In my opinion. Let's look up meaning of ego. Ego, a person's sense of self-esteem and self-importance. Yes, you need you need to have an ego, right? You need to have an ego. And there's 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 good things that comes with ego. I just told you, but ego and pride. Whoa, okay. Ego is bad. Ego is a sense of self-importance that can lead to arrogance. Okay, it can lead it. So, let me tell you, this this is this is another thing I want to build on. Ego is good, but too much ego is terrible. All right? There's a little fine line with ego, with a little ego, and there's a lot of ego. If you don't have if you don't have any ego, you're always second guessing yourself. You're always almost like shy and you, you you you're like you're like small you're small metaphorically speaking you're small and you don't want to speak up for yourself if you have ego you would speak up for yourself and you know you feel good but too much ego is bad you'll you'll seem like you're you're better than anybody else you're always right almost like a narcissistic value narcissism has a lot of ego in it that's what freaking narcissism is is built on damn ego I'm pretty sure because I know Piggy Hill. And, you know, too much ego is bad, but a little ego can go a long ways. So you need to separate yourself from too much ego into a little ego, which I have learned to do. What I do is that if I know something, that's where my ego would come in. I don't have much times my ego would come in. My ego would only come in when it comes to stuff I know, technology, gaming, and stuff like that. Everything else, I'm in the middle. I either I know a little bit about of it, a little bit of it, or I know about it. That's what it is. I, I know a little bit about everything, just just a little bit. Even when it comes to like one singular item, that item I can look at that item and say, okay, uh, okay, well, let's let's look at something else. Let's look at something on my desk. Okay, this little Space Jam ball. It's from Space Jam. It's made of plastic. It has a screw inside of it to keep it all in there. Right? Yeah, there's a screw inside to keep it all in there. I don't know why the screw is in there. Probably because it's made of plastic and it has a little bit of weight to it. See? 
I know a little bit about it. So when someone picked this up, they said, okay, this is a ball from Space Jam. That's it. Well, I give information on that, which is almost a form of ego. You're, you're, I, I think I know this, which in my opinion, I do know this because it does have a screw in it. And I think that screw puts more weight in the ball, making it, you know, pretty good to like, uh, to, um, throw around and keep yourself busy. That's why I have it on my desk. Keeps myself busy, although it does not bounce, which is sad. <laughs> but, um, it's, it's, uh, what I see is, you know, my ego showing. I'm telling y'all, hey, the, you know, insert thing for last time because I don't want to repeat myself. So, yeah, that's my ego there. But when I see someone else has an ego, I mean, I'm sorry, when you backtrack, that was my form of ego. That's how I become little ego. I, I look at stuff, give information off of it, and I see that as my own form of ego. Although there's other forms of ego, but the way I stop myself from being too egotistical, I I grab this ball, and in that instance, if I'm around, if I'm with someone, I grab the ball, and they say, "Hey, what is this?" It's like, "Oh, it's just a little Space Jam ball." I'm not gonna say, "Oh, this is a little Space Jam ball from McDonald's. It has a little screw inside to add some weight to it." Um, and I'm assuming the screw keeps it all together, and. You know, it has, it's, a, it's fun to play around. I'm not going to give an entire um, uh, encyclopedia, right? Encyclopedia. I'm not going to give an entire evaluation on this ball because that is me when my ego shines. I'm just going to tell them, hey, this is a little Space Jam doll. And if they say, and they say, oh, can I have this? And they play around with it. Say, oh, this has a little bit of weight to it. I wonder why. Then I will shine my ego saying that, hey, it has a screw in it, which, which makes it have weight. Which has a little bit of weight instead of you know it being very oh it being very um simple uh um, simple um very uh light i mean it is light but it does have a good amount of weight to it so yeah that's how i do it that's how i handle my own ego if i know something if they say hey um you're playing with your ds what is that ds then i'd probably let my ego shine there because i love my ds i know everything about my nintendo 3ds xl <laughs> Because I love it, I would I would correct them. My ego would shine, and um, and I'd probably allow it half the time. But they say, "Oh, is that DS?" I'm like, yeah, this is a Nintendo 3DS modded. Um, it has a few games on it, and they look at me weird. Like, I, I didn't ask for your for its entire evaluation on the damn thing. I just said it's a DS. It's like, oh yeah, sorry, because I love my DS, which I need to fix myself on. That's like the only thing my ego would shine through is my DS because I love my Nintendo DS. But there is never a time I would say, hey, this is just, yeah, it's just a 3DS. No, I would say it's a Nintendo 3DS XL modded because that's what it is. And I'm proud of it. I'm proud of that damn thing. And when it comes to items or particular information, people have a big ego on it and want to um, give more information to seem like they're, they, they know this. They, they know this. They, um, they know everything about it. If you ask any questions about it, boom, they got it. Because, you know, they have a high, they have a high ego on that. They're very confident on that topic, subject, thing, or whatever. And that's what, that's what feeds ego. Um, uh, that's what feeds it almost, right? Because you, um, you know that thing. You know that topic. You're good at that. So you have, you have a lot of confidence because you gather so much information on it throughout time. You're, you're very damn confident about it so that's that's where your ego shines when it comes to confidence ego comes with it all right so you need to split those you need to split those all right we need we need you need to try at least at least if if you try then ma'am you're okay in my book so how do you try how do you try to control your ego how do you um ego and confidence because i guess confidence comes along with ego so this is kind of weird because I never really spoke on this. So, how to control ego? So let's just say, if it, let's give a uh, example of, okay, a rifle, a gun. Someone comes up to you and say, "Oh, hey, is that AK?" Uh, they, they look at an AR-15. You're not gonna look at them, saying like, "What the frick is wrong with you calling this a damn AK? You being a gun nut." You're not gonna say that. You're gonna calmly look at them, and say, oh, "No, man, this is just a uh, 
AR-15. You know, AKs are usually, um, uh, I think AKs are bigger. Oh, I think AKs are smaller than ARs. I have no idea. I don't, I never knew the size difference. Um, you know, AKs have a wooden stock on the back and, you know, the magazine's a little banana clippy. You know, you don't get mad at them and say, this ain't AK, this is an AR-15 with a mag strip on it, dual magazines with the ACOG scope on it. This ain't no damn AK, what the crap is wrong with you? You know, that's, that's what, that's where your ego would shine, but instead you would take a deep breath, understand them, understand their error because you know they're probably not gonna not but don't take that don't take that um in a rude way be passive be very passive about this say i'm gonna say um no man this is just this is just ar-15 and this and if they ask about the attachments if you do have any attachments like it's a ar you should have attachments on it <laughs> but yeah it's ar i assume it has a half you call me tell oh yeah this is just a no flashlight for grip no dual magazines be very passive about it be very calm because you'd be if you'd be very, very excited about it, it's like, okay yeah, this is this is a this is a dual flashlight 125 gigahertz on this baby right here that's where you get more confidence that's a, that's where your ego comes in that's where your ego takes over and then it will, will ramp it out of control if you don't control it which you know people do control their ego when when they when they're excited about something I'm not saying you should be excited about something but when people get excited about something talking about it um because you know they really like it they're very, very comp they love that thing but when they get excited about it start talking about it it would they would get like involved in it in a way uh, i've seen so far from my experience they would get involved with it and i got pins and needles ow 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 hmm but yeah, they would get involved with it and it will almost consume them in that moment and the person you're talking to is probably not even listening because you know they sense that you're that you're a know-it-all about this they'll get annoyed by this so when it comes to controlling ego you need to take a situation very calmly if it's something you know very be very blunt about it this is uh an ar-15 with some attachments you can add some attachments and then, and then that would allow them to ask, hey, what attachments are on it? Then you can calmly say, oh yeah, we got a foldable stock, um, draw a magazine, a cock scope, some lasers, you know. And then they ask, and then, and, and then they start asking about, uh, like the laser, what, what hurts does it? It hurts, hurts. What, what powers the laser? Then you can say, oh yeah, it's this and that and that. Do you want to learn more about this or do you want to shoot it? You know, just be very passive about it. Give them the information, and if you really want to boost your ego just a little bit, ask them, hey, you want you want, you want to take a look at it? You want to learn about it? You want to, you want to look at the attachments and stuff? So you can talk about it, but you need to make sure that they're enjoying the conversation too, not that they're not just agreeing with you just to make you happy. And disagreeing is kind of a douchey thing to do for the human race. <laughs> So yeah, you gotta be very, you gotta be very controlling. If it's something you really like, it's really hard to control your ego. If it's something you like, like my DS, yeah, I'm, very, I'm trying to control my ego when it comes to my DS. When people say, "Hey, is that DS? Is that a Nintendo DS?" I'm not gonna say, "Uh, it's a Nintendo 3DS, modded, XL." I'm gonna say, "Yeah, it's a 3DS. Pretty cool, pretty, pretty cool thing. I modded it, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna be very passive about it. You can, you can be passively ego." You have to, you just have to do it right, all right? When it comes to a guitar, um, it's like, dude, cool guitar, what type of guitar is that? Oh, it's just, you know, a yeah, good old uh, Gibson Les Paul six string. Uh, I, I got the tune down to like drop down D. And then if you go down, if you keep on going down, keep on going, you're, they, 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 they will listen. Half the time they would listen, they won't notice it. But if you keep on, keep on keep on telling what the specs about it it would become rather annoying probably to the other party i'm not the other party though i'm looking at this as a third party view if i see someone talking about some talking about the guitar with somebody and i have to look at their response and you have to too you have to look at them see how they're responding how the body language is if they're if they're crossing their arms nodding and kind of you got the vibe that they're not really listening they're just nodding just to uh-huh yeah cool man now if they're like oh yeah really oh, wow okay so wait tell me more about it then you know that's a big difference you gotta you gotta look at the other party when it comes 
when it comes to you giving them information, you know, you boosting your ego on top of them. There is a good ego boost and there's a bad ego boost. Half the time there's a bad ego boost, but when it comes to good ego boost, you, you have to, it, it's all about the other party. The bad ego boost is them being annoyed that you're talking too much and that you're being very, very notable. Don't know it all about it. But there's another type of people, which I really like, who listen, who understand, who wants to know about it. And that's the good ego boost. Bad one, I just told you. Them thinking that you're a know-it-all. That's a bad ego boost. But when it comes to like a good ego boost, or a good... Um, a good... Let's, uh, a good self-importance arrogance. A good arrogance? No, no, no. Pride, you know, you're pride, prideful about this. Uh, ego, I, for some reason, I think ego is pride. If I'm wrong, tell me about it. I'm sorry. <laughs> send me, send me a, send me a Gmail. Sarge sixty nine darge at gmail dot com. Send me a mail and I'll respond to you, apologizing my bet very hard about this. But yeah, um, so I pretty, I pretty much, I told y'all how to deal with you know certain ego boosts or pride boosts because i'm pretty sure this is pride <laughs> so I, can feel, I don't know I, i'm talking my ego because because i deal with i deal with uh, with a uh parent mother air quotes um who has a very high ego and that i can't really deal with half the damn time <laughs> it's annoying but anyways so yeah um so you know, I, I got a little rant about ego, how to take care of it in my way, in my philosophy. Okay, don't take this to heart. I'm not telling you what to do. This is my philosophy. Uh, this is how I would preach to some people. All right, I'm not telling you what to do. You can take my advice or you can leave my advice. I'm not telling you what to do unless you know you believe in my philosophy and do it. All right, I'm not saying you should, not saying you, sh sh saying you shouldn't, just saying that, hey, free speech i exercise my free speech it may sound like i'm telling you to do this but i'm not i'm just giving my opinion on this one topic and how people if they choose to go with my advice which i i don't recommend or do or i don't recommend doing or i recommend doing this is all your choice right this is your choice you can either follow my advice or you can either listen or you can just do whatever with it all right um, I mean, don't, don't twist it, at least, or don't twist it, but yeah, I'm just saying, the little disclaimer here, I'm not telling you what to do, I'm just giving my opinion, and my opinion may sound like I'm telling you to do something, either you should follow it, which I don't care, or you don't follow it, which I don't care, either way, thank you for listening, this is Sarge Judge, your opinion on ego, this is probably, I'm talking about pride, but, you know, give me my opinion on it, hopefully I gave a thorough opinion on it, and this is Sarge Judge here, signing out. Make sure to vibe on, as always. See you next time.